guys, welcome to Eater Land, and I assume you guys know that we went on a Heart of Tour with Russ from Retro Game Corp and Juntello from Twitter as well as Team from Team Pandori. So in today's video, this is a little bit different from what I've been doing in this channel. I want to show you the time we had together in Tokyo as well as a little bit of our sit-down conversation regarding some handhelds. I knew Russ since Retro Pocket 2 because we were both working on some tutorials of Retro Pocket 2 and we used the comment on each other's channel. And for Juntalo, uh, we somehow follow each other on Twitter, but that was my first time to met him and that was also my first time to met him. So in the beginning, I was a little bit unsure if I should really meet them in reality because, you know, meeting strangers, I am a girl and they are guys, so that is a little bit scary to me in to some extent, but I'm glad that I did because they are really good people and I've learned a lot from them. Nevertheless, it was a lot of fun on that day and, you know, it is always very happy to meet someone who share the same interests with you and same hobby. So, um, I will show you what exactly we did on that day and, you know, show you some of the conversation we had and talk about how I felt about them. Since I'm living a little bit far away, it took me a while to travel to Tokyo, but I did enjoy a lot during my travel and I'm happy that I got Chacha Malu. I've made some changes on my mother's switch and since then I've been enjoying it a lot. We decided to meet nearby Ikebukuro station, which is close to Russ Hotel. That day was super cold and we were glad that Juntelo san actually provided his car for this tour. I knew Russ was finding a one one color before he went to Japan and I had one in my cupboard so I was like why not giving him mine but then he was so close to find one in Japan and I was panicked and I told him not to find one because I'm giving him mine. So of course the first thing when I met him was to give him my one one color and what an artwork moment because it just didn't turn on and there was no way for me to turn it on. Turned out it was because of the cartridge and it can happen uh, when you have some cartridge without battery. If you have already watched Rust's video, you know that we went to three different hot off and it wouldn't be possible without Juntalo because this is actually pretty far from central Tokyo. And because of the traffic jam, it actually took us more than an hour to arrive the first spot. Wait, who comes here? It's like a tourist spot. This is the hot off. <laughs> Team had a nice idea before we start. Oh, make a J. Oh, make a J. Oh, make a J. Your voice is, is going to be in the oh, video. Oh, make a J. Oh, wait. Oh, me. <laughs> oh, make a G sites. So I'm going to search for Oh, make a G site and we got it there. Boom. So we're going to play Animangi Omikuji, which is a, it's like a fortune teller. Like. Mm -hmm. uh, we can uh, tell our fortune and let's see how, uh, how lucky we'll be in the hard offs today okay so we'll do well, one person at a time should I go first yes Her. okay <laughs> uh, you don't want it which one is it uh, it's okay Her. uh love luck Korea wish okay wish okay here we go oh Gra great luck this I'm is the best one I got the oh. best one all right so I'm gonna the best stuff okay who wants to try next can I go next go on mm-hmm uh-huh try again boop I'll make a G try mm -hmm. again Mm -hmm. Oh wait, you don't have to go down. <laughs> wish. Wish. Wish you a Merry Christmas. Okay. Okay, luck. Like, okay, luck. Okay, luck. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> Alright, you want to go next? Juntalo-san. Um, oh, I think it's a try again. Try again. Okay. Go down to wish. Wish. Yes. Here we go. Oh, two times. Oh! oh great! Yeah. All right. <laughs> You're the guy that came first, turn. right? Okay. Try again. Okay. Go on. Here we go. Dun, dun. Wish, yeah? Wish. Here we go. 
Good luck. Good luck. Okay. Oh, nice. So okay. I got it worse. I got it worse. You you got okay luck. Okay, okay luck. That means you get you get a hole. <laughs> that means you get something. I hope so. It's okay. It's Let's, go. Let's go. Let's go. The first hold off is already quite nice. They had a number of retro games, of course, and they also had a good number of hardware. <laughs> So what are you finding? Yeah, I'm really looking for PSP games. It's funny, I, I love Put Up or The Rapper, mm -hmm. you know, but it's this is going to be in Japanese, but I think that might be even funnier. You know, yeah. uh -huh. and the price is you can try. It's, yeah. it's not expensive at all anyway. Right. So this is like around $10, you know, so it's worth it for me. Great. PlayStation? Yeah, Grip V. That's key. No idea. You ever try the fishing ones? Mm, nope. Oh, the price is rusty. Uh, so I, I just bought uh, Mario All Stars yeah. yesterday at Super Potato for about 3,000 yen. Oh, it's, wow. It's so like a half. It's 1,800, yeah. So it's <laughs> like the price. Ah. He's it. He's it. These are some scratches. Oh. So they have scratches over there. Oh, is it okay? Hi, that's your Okay, I'm Okay. How much do you spend so I spent, this time? Uh, 9,805 yen. Did you expect that? I didn't. So that's okay, uh, let's that's see almost the... like, what, $75? Uh huh. So that's pretty good. And that's uh -huh. tax free too, you know, because. Uh, we stamp my, we look at my passport and it allows me to get without tax, which is pretty cool. Great. Yeah. So, let's go to the next one. Out. Yeah, let's go to the next one. Sure. Then we moved to the second hot of and Russ was trying to find some SNES games. He was trying to see if he should buy the Super Mario RPG or not. And he also got a lot of other stuff. Although we didn't get a lot of things, it is always enjoyable to see someone who enjoys shopping a lot in front of you. And the weirdest thing is that it didn't feel like the first time for all of us to meet each other. and. Although we were from different country and we speak in different languages, maybe, but it was so smooth and I, we didn't feel any boundary of talking about the favorite hobbies that we have, and it was just so enjoyable. Russ found this rare game at 8,800 yen, which is a pretty good deal if you compare it to the internet. <laughs> How is it? Is it okay? Yeah, it looks good. Hi, I have the time off. Okay. What else you gotta do? So I we just went to our second hard off mm -hmm. and I got I spent twenty thousand yen this time around. So a lot more money there. That's almost, mm. you know, a hundred and seventy dollars or so. But I got this game, which mm -hmm. is Shadow of the Ninja, but for the Famicom. This is a rare game both in Japan and the US, and I have the US version. Mm -hmm. This is one of the games that was that we had in my childhood. So it's super cool that I have the Japanese version now. And this was eight thousand yen, so like sixty-five dollars. So yeah. came about you. Uh, what I, do got, you get? I got Dance Central. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm a bit of a mover and a groover. So <laughs> Yeah. Still don't know if the uh, what, what is it called? The Xbox 360 thing? Yeah. Uh, the mm -hmm. camera. Connected. Yeah, I've not even tested if that works yet, but um, <laughs> should be fun. Fun times. Sure. Uh, how about you? Junta san. Eh, to. So this is my recommendation. Mm. Minna daisuki katamari. Mhm. Mm and then the next one. Tim no osusume. Uh, recommendation. Yeah. Yeah. Front Mission Force. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. So how much and this is what I got. I don't even have a Game Boy Color, but, <laughs> but I love card capture cycler, so 
Yeah, why not? <laughs> I think it'll fit in your, in your um, ambonic. <laughs> Then we moved to the third place, it is also a nice place and we also had a lot of different kind of hardwares and software and of course you can see there are a bunch of PS4 and stuff which is like closer to recent years and then you also have those like older stuff here and if you walk around there is a bunch of software that looks very decent and they are in good hands so i also like this heart of a lot i mean if i go to the local heart of they don't look that decent sometimes if it is out of tokyo and stuff so this is actually pretty nice i like it and here is one of my favorite 3DS game. It is Professor Layton. And I would recommend everyone to play that. And I don't even know that there are so many PSP colors. Or maybe they are customed. I think this is the most expensive retro game that I've ever seen in my life. I was surprised to find all these Digimon Wonders 1 color games and I was also surprised to find this limited version of Card Captain Sakura plushie. Hi. And of course Ross got a lot of things from this heart of and I just realized we made a mistake. I completely forgot to remind him to get the heart of app. Of course getting the 10% tax refund is very big. You can also get the heart of app to save some points and to use the points in your next purchase. So for example, if you are going to a few heart of during your trip, then you can save some point from your first purchase in the first heart of and then you Use those points to your second purchase in other heart of no matter where it is in Japan. Let me quickly walk you through how to download the app and sign up. So this method works no matter you are using Google or iPhone. You want to search for hard off in the App Store, but if your App Store is locked to your own country, you want to open an other account in order to use the Japan App Store no matter it is in iPhone or Android. Okay, so you can skip the first few things and start and then click agree and then click next. It will ask you if you want to use your location, click whatever option you want and then it will ask you to register. So here is the place where you put your email address and password. The first blank is for email address and the second one is for password. After that, check the confirm box and newly register it. It will then send you an email to your registered address and it may take some time. Now click the link in the email and click the blue button on the page. Then it will bring you back to the app. Then enter the email and password. It will ask you your phone number but we can skip it. Now you can save your points in every purchase and use them next time. As long as you show them the app, they will save the point for you. And if you want to use the points, you can just ask them to use the point. I hope you find these tips useful for your future trip. And now let's get back to the video. You want to talk about what you got? Sure. Let's see. Let's file the total, please. Okay, so this is our third stop. I spent about 5,000 yen. Mm -hmm. So that's right, uh, $40 or so. And not a lot. I got a lot of little things, you know, like I uh, Tetris for the Game Boy. I don't have the Japanese version, so I thought that would be cool. And then we got like Wonder Swan, Final Fantasy, mm -hmm. and then uh, Mario, whichever Mario Advance this is one. The one that has Mario 2 on it, you know. And then Super Nintendo wise, I only got one game. And it's this one, which I think is Secret of Mana. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. It's so cheap. So it's like $7. Nice. Yeah. That's about it. Team didn't get um, anything? Well, I didn't get rid of this. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Juntaro san wa. Grandia. Grandia. Nice. And I've got. There's a whole pack. Yeah. It's... Oh, can you? I've got these. Another card, Captain Sakura thing, and then oh, thanks, a bunch of Wonder Swan stuff for Digimon. 
Yeah, actually, these are a little bit expensive, but it's okay. <laughs> This uh, is Steam Deck OLED, uh -huh. but this has the D brand skin on it. Oh, so nice, it's like nice. It's more heavy duty, you know, but so it has a skin and then it has the case part as well, the kill nice. switch case. So this one is the one with the larger screen, so 7.8 inches, I think. Uh -huh. That's about it. Can you hold the camera for me for sure. a second? Okay. Okay. It's actually lighter than I expect it would. Even with the thing on, yeah, it's not yeah. that Yeah, I mean, it's, the balance is quite nice. Yeah, it's lighter than the original Steam Deck. Oh, now I get it. Like, people would say it's very comfortable. Yeah. Okay. It actually is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, there was a time I was very skeptical about whether it is, like, comfortable or not, because because of the shape and right. the layout, it looks a little bit weird to me. But it's actually very comfortable. Yeah. I'll try I'll take the, the D brand thing off so you can try it. No, I'll actually just try it very nice. Yeah. I mean, oh, okay. Now I see why people like it so much. Yeah. Yeah, everything's easy to access, even the dumb stick, you know. Yeah. I mean like even for small hands it's actually working very well. It's actually lighter than I thought. Mm. So this is your first time ever holding any Steam Deck? Yeah, actually, oh, wow. this is my first time. Because <laughs> I, I have been considering getting one because of the battery life. Yeah, especially so, this one. Yeah, the OLED one. Yeah, I mean, life. they started selling it in November mm. last year in Japan. So I was like, mm, maybe I can get one for videos and stuff. Yeah. Mm, nice. Thank you. Yeah, no yeah, I'll take the whole thing so we can get the Oh, can I? Okay. Can I okay. Yeah, so without this, I mean, this thing is still on, obviously, but this mm -hmm. is the this is regular. This is real yeah. touch. Thank you. I actually like the B brand stuff on it better. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, it's actually better with the D brand stuff. Mm. I see. And the travel is not that much. I like it. Yeah. Mm. I think I'm going to get one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And then Russ was so generous to show me his MSI claw, and I just ruined the video for two times. The first time I just used time lapse, and the second time I just ruined the audio by sitting on my mic. So I'm just going to force over it. Basically, um, the feeling of MSI Claw is pretty similar to what I have with the ROG Ally. But these buttons here, they're like angular and I feel like the edge is just too much for me and I don't like the feeling. The back is very cool and I think this is a better heat dissipation. But overall, I feel like it is, a, I, I think the edge is a little bit more prominent versus the ROG Ally. And we all know that the MSI Claw is not going to perform as good as ROG Ally anyway. So um, either way, I would prefer the ROG Ally much better just at the first glance even though. Hand size comparison was one of the things I really wanted to do with Russ because people were having difficulties in believing me that Odin 2 is not very suitable for small hands. Okay, so uh, here is Russ Odin 2 and you can see if I'm holding it at the bottom part, I can't really reach the uh, triggers. And then if I hold it at the top part, I can't really reach the D-pad and it is very hurtful if I play PSP game. And here is Russ holding it. You can see that there is a big difference and he has no problem reaching it. So here is our hand comparison. You can see that there is a drastic difference between our hands and he claims that that is his medium hand. I guess that's the difference between like western world and eastern world if you are in Asia that would be considered as a large hand but if you are in the US probably that's just medium size. 
The other reason why I really want to bring this up and do this comparison is that most of the reviews are done by Mel, and because of that, the hand size is so different from most of the small handed people, especially for girls. And by watching those reviews, you may have some false expectation, not of those reviewers' faults, but based on the differences in physiology. And I really want those handouts company also realize these things is that if you are also targeting girls, consumers, and people with smaller hands, you also have to take hand size into your consideration. Using the INL slide as an example, they are almost at the same size, but because of the button layouts and the ergonomics as well as the design of its edge, it is a lot easier to access and a lot more comfortable for smaller handed people. So if there is anyone from any OEM watching this video, please also consider people with smaller hands when you are making a new handheld. Okay, back to the story, I said goodbye with them when we get back to Ikebukuro because I'm living a little bit far away and I have to leave early. But anyways, the rest of the story can be found in Team Pandora's video, which is going to be uploaded later. As a conclusion of this video, I just want to talk about my feelings and my thoughts after the day I spent with Ross, Juntalo-san and Tim from Team Pandora. Of course, the main purpose of all three of us to go to Tokyo was just to meet Russ and to spend a day with him. But we gotta say that we all had a very good time all together. And it was definitely one of my best day in 2024. I've been working on this channel for three years all on my own and this is the very first time for me to meet other influencers and youtubers that shares the same genre with me. You have no idea how grateful I am to meet them because I really learned a lot from them and it is mind blowing. And I didn't expect myself to have so many things to talk to them. like. We had endless topics to talk about, and we never had a dead air. And I really love the fact that we didn't just say goodbye and never get in touch again. We are still having conversations in our group chat, and I really love that. And the biggest thanks is to Juntalo Sam because without his arrangement, this will never happen. And he actually drove us around, so he actually paid a lot of effort on this, and I'm glad that he invited me as an interpreter. Juntalo san makes many interesting content on his Twitter account. He has a lot of things regarding retro gaming and some kind of modding of some devices like Game Boy and Wonder Swan. And he also did a lot of things about Amber Nick device and other Linux device like Miu Mini and Miu Mini Plus. So please feel free to follow him on Twitter and you'll definitely find something interesting. Hey boy! <laughs> you said Sonic about? <laughs> what are you looking at? <laughs> Tim, on the other hand, is the funniest guy that I have ever met. He is super nice and he makes a lot of good videos on mini PC. He actually went through my channel and gave me many constructive advice, which is something I value a lot. And because we are both living in Japan, there are just so many things that we share the same opinion and it is very easy for us to understand each other. I'm super interested in his version of that day and if you are also interested, feel free to subscribe to his channel and you'll be able to find something interesting. And of course, we are going to talk about Russ at the last part of this video. Everyone knows him, I don't need to introduce him. But I think most of the people just see him as a YouTuber, but to me, I'm seeing him as a role model. He used to be a linguist and translator, and I used to study linguistics and I'm an interpreter. We share the same hobby and we make content in the same genre. What a coincidence! I mean, if there's anyone who can understand my struggles at work, that only person would be him. So Russ, thank you very much for sharing your experience in both linguistics and YouTube. I know I have had a lot of stupid questions about like the life in Navy and 
of course youtube like how to grow our channel and like there are so many things that i really wanted to ask him and he was just so generous to answer me it is just so wonderful to meet someone who succeeds in both of your careers and and to be able to ask for advice and guidance i'm glad that everyone enjoyed that day a lot and i felt like i just earned the most out of it on that day and i am really grateful to everyone i really hope that someday we'll be able to meet again and who knows i mean this world is smaller than we thought so maybe someday we'll be able to hang out again anyways that's pretty much about this video and i hope you enjoy it and i will see you in my next video bye